dear students welcome to impulse master class a program designed for 10th grade students i am kishore senior faculty in mathematics with an experience of 27 years at present i am working with impulse junior college hyderabad today we are going to discuss applications of trigonometry let's have a look at this question a tower stands vertically on the side of a road from a point on the other side directly opposite to the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degrees from another point 10 meters away from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degrees then the height of the tower and width of the road respectively are options a 5 root 3 and 5 option b 5 and 5 root 3 option c 5 root 3 10 option d 10 meters and 5 meters let us understand this problem through a diagram a road a tower on one side of the road at a point on the opposite side of the road uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is observed to be 60 degrees from another point 10 meters away from this point 10 meters away from this point there is another point the angle of uh, elevation from this point is observed to be 30 degrees we need to find height of the tower let it be h and also width of the road this is road let this be uh, d when this question is given in the examination most of the students would feel difficulty in solving this problem in this video i will make it very simple in order to solve this question we require the concepts of angle of elevation angle of depression and trigonometric ratios in 10th class you already know trigonometric ratios I would explain what is angle of elevation and angle of depression now. Now let us understand what is angle of elevation. If an observer is here and this is an horizontal through observer and object is here, observer has to look at object. Now the angle made by this line of sight with this horizontal is called angle of elevation. This is line of sight, here object is there, here observer is there. Through observer we have to draw a horizontal. Now this angle between the horizontal line and line of sight is called angle of elevation. Have a look at angle of depression. Here object is here and observer is here. Observer is on the top and object is on the floor. Now if you observe the observer is looking at the object from top to bottom. If you draw a horizontal line through the observer, the angle between this horizontal line and the line of sight is called angle of depression. Now let us understand these concepts through an example. Let's say this question, this is clearly an angle of elevation if I keep object here and observer is here. This is height of the object, this is the distance between the observer and the bottom of the object. What is the height of the object? This is the question. Here. By using this trigonometric ratios, we are going to find out height. Let us use tan 30 degrees is equal to, you all know the tan 30 or tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. So, tan 30 is opposite side is h by adjacent side is tan. You also know that tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to h by 10. Just cross multiply. h into root 3 is root 3 h is equal to 10. h is equal to 10 by root 3. If you rationalize, we get root 3 by root 3, which is nothing but 10 root 3 by root 3 into root 3 is 3. This is the answer. This is the height of the object from the ground. Now, look at an example for angle of depression. Object is given here. Observer is here. This is called line of sight. Observer from this point, observe the object with an angle of depression 60 degrees. He observer is at a height of h from the level ground. In this question, we need to find height of the observer and also distance between observer and object. Now, if you look at these two lines, they are parallel. This is transversal. So, alternate angles are equal. Since this is 60 degrees, this also can be taken 60 degrees. Now, let me concentrate on finding height. For this, 
we use tan 60 is equal to you all know that tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side so opposite side is h and adjacent side is tan h is equal to we can write tan into tan 60 this is equal to tan into you all know tan 60 is root 3 root 3 so height of the observer from the ground is 10 root 3 meters at the same time we have to find the distance between observer and object also you think about how to find x value whether to take sin 60 or cos 60 or tan 60 you have to think and we have to use in order to find x x is in the place of hypotenuse so we have to use a trigonometric ratio which involves hypotenuse we can use either sin or cos since adjacent side is already given we can use cos 60 and you know that cos 60 is adjacent side by hypotenuse so adjacent side is 10 by hypotenuse is x now x into cos 60 is equal to 10 x into cos 60 means you know that it is 1 by 2 is equal to 10 and x is equal to 2 into 10 it is 20 meters we got both height of the observer and also distance between object and observer here these are all fundamentals of applications of trigonometry in your 10th class you already have done these problems but in intermediate you will see a little bit complex problems on applications of trigonometry using these concepts let us go to our initial problem students the important thing you need to learn here is here three sides let us say this is first side second side and this is third side and this is angle four parameters are there among them if you observe in this question two parameters are given one is angle the other is side remaining two parameters we can find not only if one angle and one side were given even if two sides are given whether these two sides are these two sides or these two sides we can find angle so if two parameters are given remaining two parameters we can find by using these concepts now let us come back to our initial question uh, given that this is tower i am taking this tower as ab and let it be h and this is first point of observation from here the angle of elevation is observed to be 60 degrees this is second point of observation which is at a distance of 10 meters from this first point of observation from here the angle of elevation is 30 degrees now from this triangle clearly it is a right angle triangle we can observe two triangles two right angle triangles one is acb the other is adb if we take this right angle triangle acb tan 60 is equal to its opposite side is h by adjacent side is t tan 60 is root 3 is equal to h by d so h is equal to root 3 into d we have a relation between h and d similarly if you take the triangle adb this is triangle a c b if you take triangle adb in triangle adb we have 30 degrees here so let us apply tan theta here tan 30 degrees is equal to its opposite side is h by and its adjacent side is db which is nothing but 10 plus d so 10 plus d just cross multiply after writing the value of tan 30 you know that tan 30 is 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 is equal to h by 10 plus d by cross multiplication root 3 h is equal to 10 plus d now in the place of h we substitute root 3 d so root 3 into h means root 3 d is equal to 10 plus d root 3 into root 3 is 3 d is equal to 10 plus d if you bring this d this side 3d minus d is 2d is equal to 10 so d is equal to 5 we got this distance d as 5 5 meters we need to find height height related relation is here the relation between h and d is this one 
let us use this relation to find height already h is equal to root 3 d h is equal to root 3 into d is 5 therefore height of the tower we can take it as 5 root 3 meters students this is the time for you to solve this problem here a b c d points are given with a here b here c here and d here and this in this triangle this is 45 degrees and if you take this a b c triangle into consideration this is 60 degrees given and this b c is x c d height is 2 meters and a d is you have to find i have given this h so with this information you find out this h value and x value students i hope you enjoyed the master class See you in the next class. Thank you.